going on YouTubers, Mopar people, Mopar man 1978 here. Um, I'll give you a uh, short video, um, an update. Um, just got my uh, transmission back from my buddy um, re that rebuilds the transmissions um, up there in Springfield, Missouri. Um, Mike Dunn. Um, Got it all done, rebuilt. As you can see, there got all these bags on there to make sure bugs and water doesn't get in there until I can get the transmission put in. But anyway, I'm getting ready to put the uh, transmission back in once I get a torque converter. Decided I'm not going to go with an aftermarket torque converter. It's going to go with the uh, stock factory replacement one and. Uh, but I did want to go with a, uh, since it has a racing shift kit in it, and uh, I like to power, sh you know, manually shift it and all that stuff. Um, I decided instead of using the old factory flex plate, which can possibly crack or bust or whatever, um, I just decided to go with an upgrade since I got my, finally got my stimulus check after all these months. Just now waiting on my income tax check to show up any time. So my stimulus, I was able to pay for my transmission and uh, buy an upgrade part for my transmission here. So let's get it out of the box. Christmas came early this year a little bit. I got my new B and M flex plate. Got me some stickers and SFI Foundation Incorporated. Just shows that this has been certified and that it's approved for extreme use decal. Got my B&M sticker, which I already have one up in the back window of the truck. This one will probably be going on the dart since I'll be getting another identical plate for my dart once I get the... Uh... I'll have to see if this matches up to the uh, flex plate on the Slant 6, see how many bolt holes it has for the crank, all that. Might run that in there. Even though I got a stock slant six and all that stock transmission, run that in there until I get my V8 built and then swap this over to the back of the V8. But anyway, so got some stamped numbers on here. I don't know if you can read those or not. 10230 engine side 100030 11-6-06. Then there's another set, four, two, three, five, six, nine. Anyway, uh, it's got the six bolt from for my my block, three eighteen, and uh, they make two separate ones. They make one for that only fits one size torque converter, and then they make it this universal one where it's got the eleven or a ten inch torque converter. I went ahead and went with this one, so. Um, but anyway, that's that. Then I found out the other day when we went to uh, take the uh, squad car from the muffler shop all the way downtown Branson and up 76 Boulevard. We thought we had a full tank of gas. Luckily, when I was working on the car later on back on the property, the car ran out of gas even though it still showed a full tank. Come to find out, we think we had a, uh, from the factory, a uh, bad fuel sending unit that came from RCI for the fuel cell. So I also ordered for 20, 30 bucks a, they said on the description 10 inch and I measured the uh, side of the uh, fuel cell and it said about 10, 10 and a half, 11. So this will work plenty, and if I have to, I can always bend the uh, the uh, the rod here to uh, 
accurately set the float level for this but anyway hopefully this takes care of the problem if it doesn't we, then we know it's not a bad fuel sending unit and it's a bad Equus brand 090 ohm gauge that we got from O'Reilly's or I should say O'Reilly but anyway anyway just give you a heads up on that and uh Paid some bills and stuff, whatnot. So and I, and I just got enough to run on until hopefully I can get my uh, stimulus check, not stimulus, but the uh, income tax check back before too long. And then I got to pay for my torque converter and get this uh, gray beast back on the road. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have any questions? Feel free to comment. Have a good day.